Today, we have a very not so exciting video. We're diving into an important topic, how to detect and remove viruses on your iPhone. I'm gonna teach you exactly how you can check for viruses. And if you find any virus, you can actually remove them by following these steps. First, let's talk about the likelihood of your iPhone getting infected. Thanks to Apple's strict security measures, viruses and malware are actually rare on iPhones. However, no device is completely immune to viruses. A lot of people confuse these pop-up ads that they see in their browser to actually being viruses but these are actually just scams designed to trick you into downloading malicious software so if you ever see one of those messages pop up in your browser just close it and don't engage that's the most important step these scams are nothing more than an attempt to cause unnecessary worry to the iphone user so one way your iphone could be at risk is actually if it's if it's been jailbroken so jailbreaking removes some of the built-in security features making your device more vulnerable to viruses and malware while some users jailbreak their devices to gain more control it's important to be cautious and i personally as your fellow tech youtuber i don't recommend you to jailbreak your device so now let's dive into how you can actually check your iphone for any signs of viruses or malware the first thing you will want to do is check your battery usage head over to settings and then go to battery and take a look at the apps listed under battery usage if you notice an app consuming a lot of battery in the background that you rarely use, this could be a sign of malware. Next, look for unfamiliar apps. If you see an app on your home screen that you didn't download yourself, this could be a big red flag. Malware can sometimes disguise itself as a legitimate app. I highly suggest you to check for any unfamiliar apps and delete them right away without hesitation. Next up, check for unusual behavior. Signs of malware include unexpected pop-ups, apps crashing frequently, or the phone being unusually hot even when not in use. These behaviors might indicate that some Something is running in the background. Number four, examine data usage. So if you go to your settings and then go to cellular and open up cellular data usage to check your data consumption, if you see any app that has been using excessive amount of data without a valid reason, it might be as well malicious virus. Next up, check for unrecognized configuration profiles. If you go to your settings, go to general and then open up VPN and device management. If you see any profiles or VPNs that you don't recognize, it could be a sign of a security breach as well. Next up, number six, check for any iOS updates. Ensure that your iPhone is running the latest version of iOS because Apple regularly updates iOS to fix security vulnerabilities. So staying up to date is crucial. So if you see that you have an update and you haven't updated in a long time, this might be somewhat of an indication that your iPhone is vulnerable for viruses. A lot of people have this myth that if they don't update their iOS, they're gonna have an iPhone that lasts longer, their battery lasts longer, and their performance is gonna be better. But this is a complete myth. And last but not least, check app permissions review the permissions that your apps are using by going to settings open up privacy and security if an app has access to more than it needs this could as well be a security risk now that you know how to check for viruses and if you do detect some viruses how do you actually remove those viruses from your iphone and completely get rid of them the first thing i personally recommend you to do is you should delete any suspicious apps so simply press and hold the app icon and confirm by tapping delete the app this will immediately remove the app from your device Next up is actually restarting your iPhone. This can help clear out any temporary issues caused by malware. Just hold the power button and slide to power off, then turn your iPhone back on. An even better thing to do would be is to do hard reset. This doesn't mean factory reset, by the way. This is just hard resetting your device. How you do that is you're gonna quickly press on the volume up button and then volume down button quickly and then release it. And then hold and press the lock button for a long time until your device turns off and the Apple logo pops up just like this. And what this does is that it's going to reset your RAM and it's going to get rid of all the problems that you might have on your device. If the problem persists, you can reset all settings on your iPhone without losing your data. In order to do that, you're going to go to settings, open up your general and then go to transfer or reset iPhone and then click on reset. And finally, click on reset all settings. This will pretty much reset your settings, but keep your apps and data intact. So nothing is going to be removed in terms of your data. It's just going to refresh the 
settings that it has on your device. Another thing you can do if you're still experiencing this issue is consider restoring your iPhone from a previous backup. If you had a backup, what you can do is you can just plug in your iPhone to your computer with iTunes or Finder or even iCloud if you have iCloud storage enough. And then you can restore from a previous backup that you've done in a while that was made before the infection occurred. That usually solves the problem. And as a last result, if you can perform a factory reset, this will erase pretty much everything on your iPhone, including any potential malware. But make sure to back up your data first go to settings and then open up your general and then transfer or reset iPhone and then click on erase all content and settings to start fresh. But again, a warning, make sure you back up before you do this because this will get rid of all the data that you have, including the potential malware that is in your device. But then you can restore your backup once the process is finished. But that's it for today's video. By following these steps, you can protect your iPhone from viruses and keeping it running smoothly. I hope this video was helpful and valuable. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you're new to my my channel make sure you subscribe down below i post high quality ios content weekly and as well as i would really appreciate if you can leave me a big thumbs up because it really helps my channel out thanks again for watching in the meantime check out this video i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out